Привет, ребята! С вами снова я, Оля, команда Photo and Money. Сегодня я возьму интервью у Сал Синкада. Это супер фотографер и супер бизнесмен. Поэтому он нам откроет сейчас чуть-чуть из своих секретов. So, we're starting. Hello, Sal. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Not too bad. How was your class? Class was good. People are really, uh, really excited, really energized, and we're uh, we're talking about some fun stuff. About what kind of stuff? Uh, mostly business. So our thing is the business side of photography. So we're helping photographers learn how to make money uh, in photography. So you can find a lot of information out there on lighting and, and uh, posing, but really what it comes down to is how do I take this hobby and turn it into a business that's making money. So we, uh, that's our shtick, that's what people love hearing about. Oh, and how was your way? Your uh, way in wedding photography? Why wedding photography? Yeah, that's a great question. So I shot my first wedding at 17 years old. That was the first time I had ever, uh, I was introduced to photography. Yeah, I was, I was a little baby and uh, I fell in love with it. And uh, from there, it was always a hobby. But then one day, I, you know, I was working another job and I got tired of working for someone else and I wanted to uh, do photography full time. And so I immediately, you know, I took a risk, I took a chance, went out on my own and, and here I am. Great. Uh, but now you talking on your workshops about business. That's correct. Why? Why business? Why not lighting and posing? I think there's a million people out there talking about lighting and posing and at the end of the day you could be the greatest lighter, the greatest poser in the world but if you don't know how to make money at this you're gonna go broke and so I felt like I'm a business school graduate so I went to business school I worked in corporate America I used to work for Microsoft and so I think that skill is not one most photographers have. Most photographers are great artistically. Uh, they, they see the world, they, they're great artists, but they're horrible business people. And so I think that's something that's lacking in our industry is someone that's willing to teach people how to actually make money. But uh, you're still a wedding photographer, you're still shooting. That's correct. That's correct? Yeah, yeah. We shot, uh, last year we shot 52 weddings. And, yeah, yeah, it's exhausting. And we teach, so it's crazy. But my thing is, I. I never want to be uh, one of those photographers who shoots four weddings a year and then makes their income teaching. We make 90% uh, of our income shooting mm -hmm. because I always want to stay plugged in. It gives us street credit, so to speak, you know? So we, we want to be able to, uh, when we give advice, we want it to be real advice, not theoretical advice. So, I, you know, if that makes sense, we, we, we definitely practice what we preach. Yeah. Unfortunately, I miss your crowds. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know shame why. on you. Yeah. Yeah. Shame on me. Yeah. Uh, so you have a team, right? That's correct. Uh, who they are? Uh, my internal team, uh, my wife Taylor, she's, uh, she helps us, with. I couldn't do it without her, I mean she's kind of the glue that keeps everything together. Uh, I have a studio manager, her name is Alyssa, she helps uh, logistically scheduling meetings with clients, things like that, and then I have second shooters who you know shoot weddings with me and uh, even shoot their own weddings from time to time, but that's about it. Yeah, but who's working on uh, pics after shooting, post-production? Yeah. yeah, we outsource. So we have a company called Evolve Edits mm -hmm. uh, and we send our work there because again, it's a business and as a photographer, it makes no sense to be sitting in front of your computer for 12 hours, you know, processing a wedding. That's, that's insane. That's a waste of time. You'd be better off doing more marketing, more photo shoots, uh, things along those lines. So instead, what we do is we go, okay, we're going to send all that heavy lifting out to someone else so that they can, you know, narrow the images down, white balance, color correct, because it's not artistic to do white balancing. That's not real exciting. I mean, anybody, it's monkey work. Uh, so instead, I focus on running the business and interacting with clients and shooting more. So that's a big part of finding success. All sorts. Hmm. You never do post-production by yourself? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, some I do. I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong, but I just don't want to be married to my computer, you know, at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, so instead, what I do is I take my favorite 10 images from a wedding and those are the ones that I'll go into Photoshop and Lightroom and do all those things with. So, um, you know, I definitely don't want to spend 12 hours. Instead, maybe I spend one hour. Mm -hmm. okay. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what do you think the future is of wedding photography? Ah, that's a great question. I think in the next five years, we will no longer, I don't know, I don't think we'll be photographers. I think we'll be uh, directors. And so I think if, once you start understanding that you're kind of the director of photography, you understand that your job is to tell the story of their day, right? If you're the creative director, your job is to tell the story of their day in the most creative way possible. That could mean video, that could mean stills, 
Uh, it, it really, it's any medium that tells the story, and I think that's where we're going. And if you look at these cameras today, you know, like the one we're filming on today, it's a still camera, but yet it captures video. So Canon and Nikon are ensuring that this is the direction the industry is moving in. And so for us, we not only do we do full-on wedding photography, we do full-on wedding cinematography. So we do full video as well. So it's going to be the 3D weddings. Yeah, I don't know about 3D weddings. <laughs> 5D? <laughs> 4D? Who knows? Who yeah. knows? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. But no, we're, we're ready for it. So I think uh, as photographers, you know, whether it's fusion or slideshows or whatever you're doing, you've got to, you can't ignore video. Video's here to stay. You just got to figure out how to work it into your business. Uh, maybe, you know, some Russian photographers, you know? I don't, yeah. I don't think I do. You don't think? <laughs> maybe I do, I don't know. <laughs> it is. Сейчас мы с Сэмом выучим несколько русских слов. К сожалению, мату я его учить не буду. Ну, научу, учу, мне очень хороший. Hello, Hello. is uh, привет. Say it again. Привет. 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 Yeah, great. <laughs> привет. <laughs> Other words? What? Uh, how about uh, yes, no? What is that? Yes. Yeah. Да. Да. All right. Yeah. No? Нет. Нет. All right. Um, how are you? Как дела? Say that again. Как? Как? Дела. Дела. Как дела? Как дела? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Anything more? No, that's good. That's good. How do you say goodbye? Пока. Пока? Пока. Пока or пока? Пока. 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 <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you very much. That was awesome.